Are you building Excel reports with formulas that spill? If you are, you might be interested in this because I'm going to show you a quick way of finding where your spill errors are. All right, let's go. Here's the scenario then. Imagine you're building a model and it's got spillable formulas. And at some point you change an input, maybe this to 11 years, and something breaks, got a break here. But what I've got is a clickable warning that takes me here. I then simply right click and insert and everything's working again. No spills. And if I were to add another year, click to go to insert row, there we go, right click, insert, and everything fixes. So a nice quick way of flagging what the issue is. So how do you set it up? Well, I'm going to start with a little symbol. I've just used an emoji, so Windows key full stop to bring that up. Right at right play button or something like that. That'll do. Okay. And then you can name this as um, check symbol. Okay. And then have a column with your checks in and just a simple function that says, look, if is error, and that's the spillable formula, right? This is, put something in the way here. This is the spill formula. And I have this a few rows below the, the actual top. Doesn't really matter, you could put it anywhere you want, okay? And then rather than putting in the actual symbol in here, just so I can make it really sort of flexible for future if people don't like this symbol, okay? I'll just put check symbol in there. So if there's an error, put the check symbol, otherwise put okay. All good? All right. So that's one little pot spot. And then this thing, the formula. So here we go. I'm going to build it up in a few little stages. Equals let, because we're going to set, it's a little bit of a longer formula, so it's nice to sort of parameterize your formula, put some variables in there. So let's say um, range, or oh, check range, okay. And just for now, to save my formulas messing up, I'm just going to pick a column on this page. I know it's not that column. We'll come back to it, okay? Right, look up that range. Um, and the check cell is going to be an X lookup of the check symbol in the check range and bring back the check range. Otherwise bring back zero. Okay, comma, I'll enter. And then the cell address is, we can use the cell function, address, comma, of the check cell. Cool, comma, alt enter. And essentially we're most of the way there now. We're just gonna do an if statement. So if uh, check cell equals zero, then let's have no spill, comma, and otherwise, here comes the good bit, the hyperlink, hyperlink. Okay, gotta put the hash in there, otherwise it doesn't work and then add it with an ampersand. Okay, so cell address, I'm gonna to go to that cell address and, and the message can just be click to go to spill error, then insert row. Close the bracket on that. Alt enter, close the bracket on the let. So why is it saying no spill? It's because I'm referring to column F. I'm not referring to the, the proper column. Now, the reason I didn't go straight to the proper column is I found the syntax entry just breaks sometimes when I'm referring to jumping back and forth. So I can save this till the end. 
So this is actually going to be, I'm going to use trim range to narrow down the empty cells that I'm referring to. So trim range, go here, highlight the checks column, close the bracket, press enter. Okay, so basically it's now going workings column B, trim range. Great, and now it's saying, hey, click here to go to spill error, click on it, it jumps here. Right click, insert a row. Okay, I'll insert another. Oh, there's an error in here, obviously. Cool, and then it's working. And that says no spill. So this little formula, pretty nice way of doing it. And I could change that symbol to whatever I wanted now. You know, I could change it to a um, something like a little heart. Here we go. There we go, press enter. And if I change this to a 15, it says click to go, you jump there, there's a little heart. Okay, you right click and you insert F4 a couple of times until you get the right number of rows. All right, I hope you find that useful. What do you think? Let me know in the comments, is that something you might use? Were you aware of XLOOKUP returning a, uh, an address? Have you used LET a lot? Let me know, I love having your comments. And then while you're here, check out some of my playlists, subscribe, like, turn on the notifications, and I'll catch you in the next video.